The world is a dangerous place full of very dangerous creatures. But if you think that only the biggest creatures are out to get you, then you'd be wrong. In fact, some of the most dangerous and deadly creatures are tiny insects. And if you watch this video, you may even see some in your own house. After all, every year nearly a million people pass away due to insects. I'm Charlie and today we're going to look at the deadliest insects on Earth. But before we get stung and bitten to pieces, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. Coming up first, we have Giant Japanese Hornet. The Giant Japanese Hornet is one of the most scary bugs in the world. And if you think these are only found in Japan, then you'd be wrong. Asian hornets have actually gone to almost every continent on Earth, including Europe, Africa, South America, and North America. They're actually not that aggressive if you leave them alone. But if you provoke them even by accident, they will sting you. Inside their sting is a deadly venom. This can attack your nervous system and take you out with just one sting. Their stinger is up to 10 millimeters long and the venom it puts into you is very bad smelling. You can identify them as having a velvety dark brown mid-body. They also have a black head and an orange or yellow face. These are often seen in the autumn and are attracted by live insects, not sweet foods like bees or wasps. Next up is Botfly. This isn't some kind of Black Mirror style robot fly out to kill you. Instead, bot flies are usually transmitted via mosquitoes or ticks. A mosquito or a tick may land on you and drop one of these bot flies onto you. This bot fly then grows into your skin and infects you. Bot flies also carry with them life threatening parasites. So do not leave them on you and make sure to shower every day to make sure they're not crawling into your skin. Bot flies are found all over the world, but they're most common in the USA except Alaska, Southern Canada and Northeastern Mexico. So don't forget that mosquito spray, it may just save your life. Next up is Puss Caterpillars. Do you dislike furry insects? Yeah, me too. Well, if that's the case, then you will not like Puss Caterpillars because they're named after cats. In fact, it even looks like a cuddly kitten you may want to pet. But if your skin touches the spikes of this caterpillar, then a powerful venom will be released into you. This will cause you extreme pain and numbness wherever the venom went in. You'll also have chest pain and difficulty breathing, like you're having a heart attack. These stings typically last around two to three hours, but if not treated, they could last for a day or two. And sometimes they even may take your life. They're often spotted in the USA in Florida's Bay Area. And if you get stung by one of these things, then you need to immediately remove the hair or spikes from your skin. And then see a doctor immediately. Coming up next is Assassin Bugs. Ah, Assassin Bugs, what a friendly name. Well, these bugs do as they say on the tin, assassinate you. They're usually found in poor areas of the USA, and they can infect humans with Chagas disease, among other diseases. Their prey is humans, from which they suck blood. This is why some people even call them vampire or Dracula bugs. But the main scary thing is, they carry the Chagas disease. This affects 7 million people worldwide, mostly in Latin and North America. And every year, 8,000 people pass away from this disease. Next up is Kissing Bug. So this bug really does have a friendly and nice name, but what it does is the exact opposite. Kind of like a really crazy girlfriend. Seems nice at first, but does not last. In 2019, a girl from Delaware, USA was bitten on the face by one of these kissing bugs. And this then gave her Chagas disease. So basically the same thing that assassin bugs do, but with a nicer name. Other symptoms of getting bitten by this bug include fever and headaches. You can also spot them clearly as they have orange and black stripes around the side of their bodies. Next up is Bullet Ant. Bullet ants can be as dangerous as a real life bullet. They are the largest ants in the entire world and they're mostly found in rainforests. They're also found in countries like Nicaragua and Paraguay. And the reason why they have their name is due to their painful sting. After you're stung by one of these, it feels like you've been shot. Bullet ant stings are 30 times more painful than a wasp or bee sting. And locals in these countries actually call these ants 24 hour ants. That's because the pain from one of these stings can last for a full 24 hours. But how do people pass away due to these bugs? 
Well, you see, bullet ants are usually found in colonies which contain hundreds of ants. If you're bitten by enough of these, this can take your life. Bullet ants also release an unpleasant odor whenever they bite you. The point of that is to make any predators run away, but if they don't, then they take them out with their powerful sting. Next up is Albino Spider. In 2011, a spider was found by scientists in Australia. And despite them being from Australia, they were even shocked. One scientist named Mark Harvey said he nearly fell over when he saw its white head. These spiders can easily be spotted by their white fur and red eyes. And so far, they've only been found in Australia, the home for scary animals. However, these spiders do have venom glands, which can bite you. But because these spiders are so rare, there's no reports of them actually taking anyone out yet. But you never know, so if you're Australian, steer clear of any albino spiders you may see. And finally on the list, we have Tsetse flies. Have you heard of sleeping sickness? Well, the sickness is caused by Tsetse flies. The sickness, which is spread by these flies, began in Africa. And if not treated immediately, it can be fatal. The reason why this can happen is because these flies carry a chemical called trypanosome. This is a chemical they get from feeding of the blood of animals. And it can be very dangerous to humans, so if you ever see one of these big fat flies, then squash it immediately. But now it's time to make your opinion heard. Vote in the poll in the top right corner. Have you ever been stung or bitten by an insect? If you want some more amazing videos, check out my second channel. There'll be a link to that on screen in a moment. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.